to drop in on you with some easy party food. This is so easy, you still have time, too. Because really, you just have to get to even a shitty grocery store. You're only going to need three things for this. Cream cheese. I always go with Philadelphia. Are there others? I don't even know. Fake crab. It's a big hit in the Midwest. Uh, on the coast, you probably are all going, Bleh! It tastes fine. We don't have any... I don't even know if there's real crab at the grocery store. Maybe. I just know I like fake crab. And it actually says, flake style crab slick. Imitation crab meat. Fake crab. And we cannot buy it fast enough. So you need cream cheese, that, and this. Heinz cocktail sauce. Do not buy other kinds. Because we're trying to, you know, make Teresa Heinz. John, uh, what's his name? He ran for president. John Kerry. Um, we're making them richer. What have I made to drink? A little Cosmo Martini. What pairs well with fake crab? Nothing. But this just sounded good too. Here's my mom's recipe. Ready? One package or two. Cream cheese. One bottle of cocktail seafood sauce. Heinz. That's in parentheses. Fake crab. And then she just wrote, you know the rest. Then she wrote, Due to an antisocial husband and no need to entertain, I don't make any other appetizers except shrimp. Well, you don't really make shrimp either, Mom. Shrimp is caught. They don't. Okay. But that's what she wrote, and I do know how to do the rest because that's how goddamn easy it is. I don't even have to call my mom. I don't have to Google it. So I did this before I started. This is the cream cheese on a platter. If you guys can't get that, then you got to drop out of this cooking class. You have to go to a different class for like bowling or something. And then, here's my crackers. I'm so, I've already, see how I pre-prepped? Pre like I really have an assistant, which I don't. So then you take the Heinz thing. This isn't gonna be for everybody. I know that. But for those of you daring enough, I always would look at it as a kid and I'd be like, Bleh. But then you, I don't know, I, then I'd taste my, my dad would be like, that's no, wonderful, your mother's a wonderful cook. I'm like, I don't know if that's cooking, but all right, Jack. So then you just spread your Heinz. See how fast this is? If you get invited to a Super Bowl party or, Chris, or New Year's Eve, boom, right? You don't even really need the whole bottle. Well, maybe. I don't know. It depends on how much cocktail sauce you like. You spread that over the cream cheese. This is very simple. You could do this after five Cosmos and still pretty much get it right. Your counter would probably be a shit show, but who cares, right? Nobody's coming over for the most part. This spoon is now finished. Okay, I've already cut the crab meat open. Because why? I'm on top of it, people. I'm on top of it. This is really a good Cosmo. You know, I've always wanted to be one of those people that could drink a martini at a bar, just a martini with an olive like my friend Chuck does. And then every time we work together... We go after the show, and he'll order one, and it looks great. I'm like, can I taste that again? And then he rolls his eyes because I do it every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of my life. And then I just go, because <laughs> it tastes like gasoline. Really, all I want is this olive. Now, check this out. This is going to really freak some East Coast people out, I think. It comes out like this, kind of in a sheet. Let's call it a sheet of crap. It's your job. My hands are clean to do this and spread the crab out. I like to flake it up. Um, you could put hunks of it in there. That's going to get weird, though, is it dip. People, I don't know. I don't trust people. People will look at this weirdly. It's not like the cheese ball. We're going off-roading off here a little bit. They'll be like, oh, what's that? Uh, and then you just go, well, try it. So take, you don't have to take my word for it. And if you hate it, you just, yeah, I don't even care if you hate it. That's how easy it is. I don't care if people, see how that all just comes apart? And it tastes fine. It tastes like real crab to me. But I think when, <laughs> when you grow up in a place where there's not a lot of real crab, you think fake crab is real crab. Then you get a hold of real crab and you're like, what the fuck was that? That's how I felt about Mexican food. I thought Taco Bell was Mexican food. Then I had real Mexican food, and I was like, Bleh! where's my goddamn soft shell tacos with hot sauce? See, and it doesn't even take that much, so you'll have a lot of fake crab left over for the Super Bowl. 
you do this for New Year's Eve, I don't know how long that stays good. I probably wouldn't trust that. I'd have to call my mom. Mom, how long does fake crab last in a normal refrigerator? Can you freeze it? How about we freeze it and we have frozen crab meat unfrozen and see how many people we can make sick during the Super Bowl. So this is it, folks. Then you have to get, those are your three ingredients. That's it. See how easy that was? These are your crackers. Ritz has to be a salted cracker. Why? Because we have fish. I just made that up. I don't know. I don't really know. I guess Ritz is just another Midwest staple. We don't, if you brought in a fancy cracker to our house, my father would probably shoot someone. He only eats Waverly wafers. Ritz, if it's a special occasion, don't get fucking crazy. And he only eats Roquefort dressing. So every time we go out, no matter where it is, even if it's a kale salad, which he doesn't know what that is, he'll look at the waiter or waitress or server and go, now do you have any uh, Roquefort and Waverly wafers? And then they go, what? I'm like, why don't, you why don't you ask for a highball tall, Dad? That'll really blow the kid's brain apart. How about a highball tall? How about you not use that anymore, Dad? Nobody knows what that means. So see how, see how fancy this looks when you arrive? Look at that. My little designed crackers, I'm not going to do them all because I don't want them all to get wet. You get the idea, termites. So easy. He'll we'll pretend like that side doesn't exist. And then you just present this at your Super Bowl party or your New Year's Eve party. People who drink a lot, this will totally make them vomit later. They'll have to throw up fake crab. But come on, that, that's just funny. But if you go like that, here's your fake crab. It's awesome. I swear to God, unless you hate crab. But have you ever tried fake crab? Maybe you had real crab. Maybe you don't even know what you think of fake crab. It's available everywhere. Kroger, Schnucks, Deerberg. Well, it's out in L.A. Vons. Mm, I don't know if L.A. would have fake crab. I never looked when I was out there. Oh, look, there's a recipe on the back, too, from Kroger. Crab salad with asparagus. All right. Oh, sorry. That's it, termite. Cheers. Happy New Year. 2021 can't be any worse, can it? Oh, fucking yes, it can. If you read Nostradamus, don't do that. Skip him this year. That would be my recommendation. I made that error already, and I'll just eat it on behalf of everyone. I'll pretend like I didn't. You guys know not to. Now the people that are out there are like me, now you're going to be tempted to go see what it says. Just saying don't. Make shit up in your own head. Okay, that's it. I'm going to sign out. The cheese ball is a little more all-inclusive. This is for the people out there that have selective taste. And shall I say, advanced taste. Not advanced. Whatever. All right, that's it. That's it for me and my mom's cookbook. Now, which my sister, by the way. The one who's 10 years younger than me got a hold of and just wrote, Katie Madigan. Katie Madigan is awesome. Katie Madigan is cool. Listen, listen, youngster. This is not for fucking around. This is worth thousands of dollars. Katie Madigan is awesome. Katie Madigan. Practicing her autograph, I suppose. Oh, here's one, another one. Katie Madigan is very cool. Catch Mary Madigan. Wow. That's it. That's all I got, termites. <laughs>